On the 40th anniversary of the bottle deposit in New York State, there is an effort now to double it. It's still just a nickel, which you get back if and when you return it for recycling. But some say it's just not working anymore. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Long Island. A nickel per bottle. It's been the same since 1982, but 40 years after New York introduced the bottle deposit, is five cents still an incentive to recycle? And I do it for the environment, you know, just to, you know, that's more important than just the money. But returns are declining, bottle litter increasing. Advocates say it's time to double the deposit to 10 cents to reduce litter and spur recycling. If you adjust for inflation, the deposit should be really around 30 cents. Um, so, you know, 10 cents is really just getting it to be a little bit more modernized. They want it expanded, too. Right now, wine coolers are covered, but not wine. Neither are non-carbonated sports and energy drinks and hard cider. We want this to go to all things that people actually already think are recyclable. So wine bottles, liquor bottles, and also a bunch of non-carbonated beverages. States and uh, other countries around the world that have 10 cents, 25 cents deposit containers are near 80 to 90 percent recycling rates, where New York's been stagnant around 60 percent, a huge environmental gain. How do consumers feel about doling out double the deposit? I'm not too happy since everything else has been doubled. I think we pay enough and I don't think that it is, it has worked as they had planned it and I'm not sure where the money goes anyway. Millions from unreturned bottles go into a state environmental fund. The Association of Beverage Centers says 10 cents could increase returns, but uh, prices are going to continue to go up for the next year. We've heard of another increase in January, uh, so we're afraid that this would be another burden on the consumer. A dozen environmental groups are asking Governor Hochul to include a better bottle bill in her upcoming budget. If that happens, the public will have a chance to weigh in in public hearings. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.